Welcome to another episode of DIYC. Now, we are in the second episode of our MOA Crawler build series. And from from the first episode, I've actually changed a few parts. I've actually moved to the MG946R servos instead of the MG945R. And so, I've also chosen two servos, so dual servo steering. And, um, as you can see, I've, um, made my axles. So this part is basically the um like the spine of the axle and it's got this L section of aluminium um pop riveted to it and it's holding the two uh servos and we have our my custom made links out of a uh, U-shaped aluminium with holes on either end and now I'm going to show you the um axle housing so basically uh these these were basically T sections of PVC pipe, which I then cut off the tops and then I glue, I epoxied a piece of Lexan, which basically acts as my arm. And then I got some um, furniture wheels and removed the wheels to basically just get the pivot in the middle. And I then epoxied that to the Lexan and then epoxied in um, the screws so that it's got that tensile strength of the screws to make it really strong when it's being pushed against by the servo. And then I also got some pieces of aluminium that make tabs on the inside for my servo to be held by. And these were also epoxied in. So altogether this motor, this motor housing basically took me about a week to do. Basically just waiting for the epoxy and paint to dry. And another thing that has changed since the last video is that I've gone with the high power gear motors instead of the low power ones which are these ones which I have removed now I'm basically going to show you how I I'm going to get these servos to stick into my housing so the first step is basically just pushing the servo into the housing like so and make sure and making sure that the holes align so just line up the holes, get them in, and I've got two screws which basically hold the, the motor in. Get my screwdriver, and screw the motor in. Second screw. Now you might be wondering how I'm going to get that gear motor head which is like a 4mm standard gear motor head which like is like a D-shaped head to fit my 12mm hex wheels. Now I went on to RoboGear and I got myself these um, gear motor to 12mm hub um, kind of like adapters. They're made of uh, Inkano which is like a type of brass. So stick them in and just turn it a bit. Just try and get get into that hole that I already drilled, knowing that I have to do this. Come on, fit. Not gonna fit in. <clears throat> Just a second. Just need to get a line in with a hole. Can you give me some pliers? Yes, we do have a twelve mil. So yeah, basically just trying to get this to line up. Stick it in. As you can see, these motors are uh, high power, so they have a lot more torque. So they're a lot harder to turn by hand. And they also have a lot more speed. 
than the um, low power ones. So yeah, hopefully this should be better. Just get that screw in. Oh, time. Just trying to get my pliers to turn it. There. So yeah, just tying them up, and there, 12 millimeter hex, which allows me to plug it into the wheel. Yeah, pretty cool. Now I'm going to attach this to the main section, so this, like basically the spot on my axle. So basically, this caster I sanded it back so that it fits in quite snugly. Just push it in. And it's got that hole pre-drilled that I drilled in there. Yeah. Um, get my M5 screw. Get it to fit in. Get my screwdriver. And thread it all the way in. Now we get the other washer, sticks on on the back. And we have a nylock nut, which basically has a little bit of nylon in it, so it doesn't unscrew that easily. Um, I guess you could also use uh, like a Loctite or thread locker, something like that, just to make sure that the screw doesn't untighten when you're crawling and driving. Just get my ratchet and screwdriver. Yep, good. So nicely tightened. And now we attach the servo link. So just get the screw down, push it in, and... Okay, the second one is already pre-assembled. Yep. So now for the second one. I basically just I basically just made uh like a simple prototyping. Uh, so basically it's just using Arduino Mega and with a motorboard and a servo board and then so it's basically just for prototyping. This won't be in the actual crawler. And um another thing I didn't see show you in the last one is I'm using a Tenergy three thousand milliamp seven point two volt nickel metal hydride battery. And that's just going to plug in here. So it should be powering up right now. And then uh, oh, okay. should be powering up. Just a moment. So 
on. Are you plugged? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, plugged no, in. no, you incorrectly plugged yeah. in servos. Yellow goes to yellow. Yeah, very good. Okay, so basically, the They turn parallel to each other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now uh, the map. Let's see. Let's see if it's if it's correctly trimmed. Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, so uh, you have to actually swap the servos. So that servo goes to the right, yeah. and the other one goes to the left, because the servos are three degrees off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay, now. Um, now we're not the wheels. Now they're perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wheels mount into the hex adapter and screw it in. Other one. This is just basically using an M4 screw, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Should be good. All okay. right. Hold on. Now, I'll leave it up there. So. So as you can see, pretty good steering angle. Oh, homemade. So yeah, twenty altogether twenty four kilogram centimeters of torque. Uh, these motors have four kilogram centimeters of torque. So yeah. Okay. That's it. For tell, this. tell tell people what you're going to do next. Oh uh, yeah. So in the next video we'll have the um we'll have like the the rear axle ready. Uh, it's actually like halfway done. So we just we just need to basically glue in those tabs and it sh and paint it. And um yeah, we'll be prototyping. We'll make like a sort of stick temporary stick crawler. And um yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, like the video if if you like the video, press the like button, and if you if you want, subscribe. Thank you for listening.